How did you become part of Slaughter Gang? I became part of Slaughter Gang on um, 21. You know what I'm saying? I grew a relationship with 21. I was there with him when he first started his rap career, as far as like getting out there with his mid tape. When didn't nobody really know too much. He know a couple of people. He know a lot of people, as far as him, but like the world, as far as like people in Atlanta. In Atlanta, it take a lot for people to grasp to your music and start fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? So like. With that whole situation with bro, like he went through a lot, the steps he had to take to get what he had, the stuff he had to do. And like when nobody there with him at the beginning, it was me, you feel me? And all this, Slaughter Gang, it was us doing stuff together and making, you know what I'm saying, things happen, going to clubs and, you know what I'm saying, just doing this. And that was like, that showed me like the struggle he had to go through, like he went through a lot. Me, I had it easy, cause, you know what I'm saying, I got signed to a label, you feel me? And, I got situation, you know what I'm saying? So like, my walk through the music industry was kinda easier, but it was off of him though. Like, it all came from him. It came from me helping him, being there with him, supporting him, and saying, look, I ain't even gonna rap, bro. I'm gonna let you rap. You do your thing. When you blow, just put me on the song, and you know what I'm saying? We gonna take off, and that's what happened. You know what I'm saying? Now, I read a quote that you had said, America's most hated, and it was a picture of you and him together. What did you mean by that statement? America most hated, like, right now, man, in Atlanta, man, me and him, the most hated niggas, like, I feel like, like, people mad, they mad, cause we stepping in the game and we just taking over, like, he blowed up out of nowhere. Now here come Lotto, out of nowhere. They mad right now. So, like, we the world most hated, that's how I feel. Cause they don't want to see a nigga up. They don't want to see a nigga on top. Know what I'm saying? Niggas really hang on a nigga, man. Like, they hang hard. I know they hang on Dunn Slaughter. They hang on me, but I don't care cause I, I'm doing what I take, what it takes for me. Know what I'm saying? I don't really care what the next man got to say or your opinion. You really don't matter cause you're not paying me. So I really don't care, but like, I feel like we the most hated. Like. Niggas hate us for no reason, just cause. Like, they don't like us. They don't like our music. They mad cause we stepped in the game, we kicked the dough down, we ain't asked y'all to let us in. Nah, we kicked the dough down, came, took our, you know what I'm saying, everything, we took that. We ain't had nobody for no help. We ain't come to nobody, asking nobody for nothing. When he came in the game, he didn't have no features on his tape. Nobody but McConan, you feel me? He big, he had McConan, but guess what? He didn't ask nobody for that. He kicked the door down by himself and built his own brand. Stamped his own name. We stamped that. Slaughter Game, we stamped that. Yeah, we did it. And he stamped me. And he got me to where I'm at. Now, speaking of 21, what's the biggest piece of advice he's given you? Biggest piece of advice? Or the most important thing you learned being around him? Most important thing I learned being around him. Most important thing that I learned being around him, that he a genuine nigga. Like if he if he if he mess with you, he really like he mess with you, you know what I'm saying? And the most thing that he did me, he told me like for my whole situation, he the reason, cause he like, look, bro, I think you should do that, you know what I'm saying? It might work out. So he helped me, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like like him as a person, and he he a good nigga, you know what I'm saying? He came from the same type of struggle I came from. We just was on different sides of town. You know what I'm saying? He been probably been through a little bit more than me because he done been shot. You know what I'm saying? But he haven't been to prison, though. You know what I'm saying? I've been to prison. You know what I'm saying? He been shot. So we got different walks of life, but it's the same thing because we done been through the same struggle. You know what I'm saying? Both of us got a story to tell. He got his story. I got my story. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. Now, how did the Bases Loaded Records situation come into play? The Bases Loaded Records situation really came into play off of 21, because at first, they initially was trying to sign him. You know what I'm saying? And that didn't happen. You know what I'm saying, bro? He wanted to continue to weigh out his options like he doing, and you know, he's steady grasping as we go. You know what I'm saying? He doing him, so. 
he stirred away from that situation. Uh, I got introduced to the situation really through Yaki, you know what I'm saying, one of my label mates. And the initial thing was we was taking 21 to base load, you feel me? But whatever happened, it didn't work out. So after that, you know, I stuck with bro and kept, we kept doing our thing as far as promoting him and pushing him and I'm going and doing his shows and being the hype man and you know what I'm saying, doing all that. Like I really did it like on some hype man, this my brother, I don't, you know, I did that for him because of the, out of the love, not because I'm riding his wave or trying to be on his job. It's just like, nigga, if we brothers, and I, 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 I'm telling you, like, you genuinely got uh, love for me. It's like I got for you then, nigga, I'm going to be there for you like you're going to be there for me. So it went no big deal about me doing it. Like, I liked it, you know what I'm saying? It helped in me, you know what I'm saying, better myself. You know what I'm saying? So I like, you know, that situation, man, ended up turning into me and him getting on the Dirty K and that song taking off, and that situation went from basically loaded, and Yaki went to taking me over there like, well, look, y'all need to get Lotto, you know what I'm saying? And that went from a, a, a iffy to them signing me. It took a little minute. They, you know, they did they research or whatever, tried to figure, you know, it's a chance they were taking, you know what I'm saying? And they took a chance, and it happened, you know what I'm saying? So. You know, everything work out for the better. I give all the praise to God, though, really. You know what I'm saying? I feel like God put all this in position for it to happen. And that's why everything turned out like it is. It was just meant.